Hello and welcome to my four minute video on how to make a Louisiana jambalaya. If you look in the about section of the video you'll see more of a detailed recipe but these are some of the ingredients you're going to need. Uh, chicken broth, meat, onions, seasoning and I like parboiled rice because it doesn't stick together. This is the pot I'm going to be using. It is a crazy Cajun number four cast iron pot. Um, I've had it for many years and I use a propane burner to cook it in. Uh, you can just use a cast iron skillet on the stove if you don't have a pot this big or just a regular pot. I'm going to be using uh, boneless uh, chicken thighs, sausage, and actually some pork. Um, I'm going to cut it up into uh, small pieces. That's the pork right there. You can see how big uh, I cut the pork up. The chicken, what you want to do with the chicken thighs, depending on the size, you either want to cut them in half or cut them in sections of uh, three or maybe even four if they're big. Um, but I prefer cutting, uh, cutting them into th thirds because um, the chicken does cook down after a while. And uh, there's the sausage. Uh, use a mixture of some pork sausage and some other kind of Cajun sausage. So what I did was put a little bit of oil in the pot and I put the meat in there. And uh, cooking the meat down, you uh, have the fire on as high as you can go and um, just cooking the meat down, cooking the meat down. And as you can see, it, uh, it started to cook down there and it's got all the liquid. So what I do is I take the meat out and I drain out the liquid. Then I add some oil back into the pot while I have the meat stored in another pot in the kitchen. And I'm gonna add three pounds of chopped onion, celery, and garlic, and uh, maybe a little bit of red pepper uh, mixed in there too. And you wanna go ahead and cook that down, constantly stirring until uh, you get the onions caramelized like this. Um, it's a great smell. Love it. Uh, but you want the onions very well caramelized. Then you're going to add the meat back to that. When you add the meat back to it, you also add the chicken broth and your Cajun seasoning. Um, I'm going to cook 10 cups of rice. So I actually added 20 cups of chicken broth. Basically the rule of thumb is 2 cups of liquid per every cup of rice. Uh, I added quite a bit of seasoning, salt. Just go ahead and add that to your taste and how you like it. And give it a good stir and you want to get that up to a boil. Okay, and as you can see, there it is starting to boil. Well, once it boils, uh, you let it simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes uh, to get that meat to, to really get real nice and tender for you. After you've boiled it for about 20 minutes, or simmered it for 20 minutes, I should say, go ahead and add your rice. Again, this is the Paul Ball rice. It doesn't stick. Um, so I added 10 cups of this Paul Ball rice. I'm going to be feeding about 10 to 15 people with this. Uh, and you want to just go ahead and stir it and stir it and get that rice all mixed up nice and well with the seasonings. Um, and another thing I wanted to point out, I use Louisiana hot sauce and Tony Sachery. I don't like um, Tabasco sauce. I think it adds its own flavor, whereas Louisiana hot sauce enhances the flavor. So I prefer Louisiana hot sauce and Tony Sachery. Okay, now you're gonna get it backed up to a boil with the rice. You're gonna put your heat as low as you can go without going out. Then you're gonna wanna cover it and simmer it with the rice for about 20 to 25 minutes. Afterwards, look at it and check it out. And this is what mine looked like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a stir here. I like to mix it up and make sure I'm okay. If you see there's too much liquid left over, cover it and cook it for another 5 to 10 more minutes like that on that low heat. Uh, once I stir it up, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and just cut your heat off totally. Put the lid back on there and let it steam for 20 minutes with no heat. After that 20 minutes, this is what you have. Jambalaya ready to eat, delicious and it is beautiful. It came out really well and everybody enjoyed it and I hope you do too.